You go ahead. You go on and have a nice night, huh? I'll be fine. <coughs> Cough and blood, and I'm bleeding out of my rectum, but, but you have a good night. Son of a bitch. Hey, 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 hey. You got a minute? Come over here. <laughs> so I'm standing there, minding my own business, you know? And I catch this jamoke about 10 feet away. Giving me the, uh, the fish eye. Me, he's giving the fish eye. The hairy eyeball, the evil eye. For all I know, he's putting the horns on me. So then I give him the, uh, the unblinking stare. <clears throat> Whoa. This guy's a rock. Nothing. He just keeps me in his headlights. Good, good. So I say to him, hey, Bosco, why don't you take a picture? Huh? It lasts longer. So that got him. So he smiles and he and he strolls over. And he starts with the usual hubbub, you know? Asking a lot of questions like, uh, how you doing? You live around here? What do you think of the neighborhood? <laughs> so I say, hey, what are you writing a book? Hit the bricks. Put an egg in your shoe and, uh, beat it. And he gets all upset and insulted like, oh, I give a shit if some street Joe has his feelings hurt. Boo hoo. So then he says, I was just gonna ask you where, where Washington Boulevard was. I thought you might be a local, so you'd know. So I say, what do I look like, a, an information booth to you? Copper walk, get out of here. No, 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 not you, moron. What's wrong with you? So this guy, he's a real bleeder, you know? And he walks off all wounded and, and hurt. You see, I'm wise to this clown. <laughs> You know, I think somebody put him up to it, you know, shaking me down for some, for some information. Fuck him. So I split. And I even took a roundabout route home. And I, and, and I even double backed a few times to throw this moron a, a curveball. So I went down an alley, you know, I, 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 I took a freight elevator up. And then I went down. I even found a Chevy. The door's unlocked. I laid in the back seat for 20 minutes. I went behind some dumpsters. I, I, I went up a fire escape and down the other side. I went into J.C. Penney's and I went into the dress department. <laughs> Nobody will think to look for me there. That's how smart I am. <laughs> so I finally make it back to my apartment. You know, I lock the door, chain it deadbolted and just for good measure I put a chair up against the doorknob and I sat there in the dark for 45 minutes just to make sure this moron was out of my life naturally he's in the book of course you know once you're in the book you're wretched in stone there's no getting out there's no forgiveness or redemption when you are in the book you are locked in the book wait a minute where are you going? Well, well, come back here. Hey, how do I know who you're reporting to? What you're up to? That's it. Just for that, now you're in the book. Where the hell is the book? I'll put you in the book when I get home. You're in the book. You never get down. <laughs>